Good morning, everyone. My name is Mike. I'm a behavioral designer over at uh, Vimy. This morning, we're going to talk about the Gift of Happiness Foundation, a uh, door in the face technique for compliance. And we're going to talk about how uh, we can leverage the door in the face technique in order to sell more. So uh, let's start with the Gift of Happiness. The Gift of Happiness is a Thai foundation set up a decade ago by Mr. Eddie Hawthorne. And every month, they support over 2,000. Thai children and families from underprivileged communities with uh, donations of clothes and toys and toiletries. And uh, last Friday, we were able to uh, secure donations of over 18,000 baht for the gift of happiness in just under three minutes by leveraging door in the face technique for compliance. So what is the door in the face technique for compliance? Uh, the door in the face technique for compliance is a methodology based on research done by social psychologists on how to gain compliance from people, how to get people to do what you want. And what it states is that you can increase the likelihood of compliance with a request by preceding your request with a larger ask. So pragmatically, what we did on Friday was we gave people the opportunity to purchase one of these nifty red hats for the gift of happiness for 800 baht. And while they were considering that, uh, we also immediately uh, offered them the opportunity to donate a hundred baht uh, for the cause. Now what happens is uh, door in the face technique is basically a private case of reciprocity, a special private case. What happens in people's minds in this type of scenario is um, they may be likely to refuse the bigger ask. In fact, they usually will refuse the bigger ask, but because they feel unpleasant and they feel indebted to you for uh, refusing the bigger ask, they are likelier to comply with the smaller ask. So people might not buy the hat for 800 baht, but because they didn't buy the hat for 800 baht, they will want to make a donation of 100 baht. Um, so uh, the way that uh, this works for you is when you want to make a sales offer, you can start by asking a high ask and then knowing that this is unlikely, and will get a refusal and then you will start and, and give a second ask which is lower and that second lower ask is likely to gain compliance. How effective is this? Well, um, the studies that were done on uh, door in the face technique indicate that the second ask when asked alone is likely to get only 17% of compliance. But when proceeded with a larger ask, the compliance rate will climb to as high as 50%. So uh, between 25 and 50%, depending on the conditions. So that's a, a net increase of between 49 and 240%, which is huge. So thank you very much, everybody, for listening. And uh, if you'd like to support the Gift of Happiness Foundation, please check out their website, giftofhappiness.org. And if you want to know how to leverage behavioral design in order to increase sales and optimize processes in your company, please reach out to me. Thank you very much.